Hey, what's up? Lightbulb Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the 1990 action adventure thriller film Total Recall. This stars Arnold Schwarzenegger. A bunch of other people are in this. I knew this movie existed for a very long time. I always confused it with Demolition Man with Sylvester Stallone and Sandra Bullock. Um, I loved Demolition Man. I know that the Three Seashells meme has, you know, resurfaced many, many, many a times. I don't know if we've actually talked about it. We should. But this is a complex story, Total Recall, and I feel like I, I appreciate it more seeing it for the first time. I don't know why the hell I haven't seen it and so and since it came out. I was born in 90, this came out in 90. No idea why I didn't see it. But I feel like I appreciate it more because of Amazon Prime's upload with our iconic superhero amongst us mere mortals, Robbie Amal, uploading a stream of consciousness into a digital heaven, right? So... This is takes place in 2084. I don't remember when Upload takes place. 2090-something, I think. Um, but Arnold Schwarzenegger plays his character of Quaid, who's actually not who he originally was. If he was originally a different person, um, working for a very bad guy on Mars, because Mars is colonized, run by this one particular individual. And Quaid, Arnold Schwarzenegger's character, is believing to be this Quaid person, but then he wants to, you know, visit Mars, but the, his wife is like, no, 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 you don't have to visit Mars. So then he goes to this place called Total Recall, where you can, like, get memories implanted into you about visiting Mars. So when they, like, wiped his Quaid memories, um, like, when they tried to wipe, like, put the memories in, like, something, a glitch happened, and this, you know, fact of oh he actually is a secret agent you know comes about so it's this interplanetary war basically between world leaders um to make a profit off of the air on mars rather than uh terraform it like the original aliens well martians had planned so it's trying to save mars basically a lot of it takes place on earth but then a lot of it takes place on mars i really like that it was practical effects. There was a lot of robotics. There was a lot of animatronics when it comes to taxi drivers or like um, one of the little mutant guys attached to some guy's, you know, stomach. Like a lot of it was puppetry. And I really appreciate that aesthetic, that 70s, 80s, 90s aesthetic. Because in 2000s, the aughts, and then the 10s, um, and then here we are in the 20s, it's CGI. Like it's just what it is. It doesn't give that authentic grit. And this movie is gritty it takes place in 2084 but it's gritty i love it it's very interesting because it's it's really a is it a dream is it not a dream is he still dreaming is he not dreaming like my favorite part was when the the little person uh stripper gets on the bar and starts shooting up everybody that was so fun i did not expect that but this was a really good movie and to be honest this would be an incredible tv series an incredible TV series. This is based off of a like short story from 1966, something like that. I really feel like this would be an incredible TV series starting before this movie, like um, going into the colonization of Mars, why the capitalistic empire, you know, is trying to monopolize the air quality, stuff like that. When they actually found this, you know, Genesis device basically in the core of Mars, which is a glacier, not molten iron, as believed our Earth Terran core is. So I really like that. I think this would be a really kick-ass series. Um, yeah, Total Recall. Very similar to Upload with that consciousness bit, but loved it. This was really cool. I'm so happy I finally watched it. Good times. <laughs> Intermahalo.